Yo, what is going on everybody? Some of y'all may know me. Some of you probably don't know me. For those who don't know me, fuck you! I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, fuck, what was I saying? <laughs> Yo, I'm like, I, I cannot do videos for shit. For those who do know me, know that I'm Tactics. Um, one of the founders of uh, the show Real Talk Gurus. For those of you who don't know what that is, go on YouTube that, check it out. We're dope. We're getting a lot of uh, traffic, like like questions coming in through our email. And uh, unfortunately, we can't feature all the questions onto the show. As you know, we only do one question per week. Um, and we usually collectively um, decide what questions get aired. And um, and yeah, but um, I don't really want, I don't want to like just dismiss all the other questions. I do want to start answering a lot of the questions and I apologize if I haven't gotten to them. Um, but uh, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to utilize this channel, which is AJ3000, and start answering the questions via video blog style. For the ones that didn't get aired, they'll be, I'll try to answer them on this channel or I'll send you an email and answer the question personally or Iceman will do it, whatever. But uh, yeah, so uh, that's what we're gonna do. So on to the first question of the week or the day or whatever, man, just shut up. I feel you on the white girls, guy, because I mean, there was a period in time when I was all about the white girls, you know, and you know they're they're proper. I, I'm, I'll admit, you know, um, but in terms of them being exotic, I mean, if you think girl, white girls are exotic, then dude, you need to get on. Oh my gosh, damn! Where are all these girls coming from, man? Shit! What was I saying? Um, yeah, man, if you think that uh, white girls are exotic, then dude, you need to get on more, man, because you know. You need to start tasting some of the Latinas, the Hispanics, the uh, Persian girls. Um, yeah, man, there's just a whole flock of exotic women that you could be, you know, messing around with, you know. So, but I mean, to each his own. I mean, if you if you're about the white girls, then I get it. I mean, I've been there, you know. <laughs> I think the issue is that a lot of Asian guys they come off as shy and timid and it automatically alleviates uh, your confidence level when it comes when when you know when women when white women um, perceive you as that you know what I mean so it, it, you you guys automatically get the short under the stick you know what I mean so I think that's where the problem stems from and you know in that sense I would I would say that you need to break that mold you need to you need to show that you're not, you don't fall into that category of being a shy, timid Asian dude. You know what I mean? Like Timothy De La Ghetto, you know, he is far from the Asian stereotype. You know, he's very outgoing. You know, he raps, he dresses, um, you know, he dresses urban, you know? So, I mean, right away, like that alleviates him from that, from that category, you know? And I think you gotta do that, the same thing. Now, I'm not saying you, you gotta go out and, you know, start writing rhymes and, and dressing urban or whatever. Dress, dress however you want to dress, but you know, dress proper. You know, like you know, like appearance helps. You know what I mean? Like you gotta package yourself right if you want to attract any female, for that matter, right? But um, you just gotta break that mold and show that you're not, you, like you're 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 not that boring, timid, shy kind of person. You know what I mean? Because girls don't want shy and timid and all that stuff. They want some excitement in their life. You know. With that being said, you have to be comfortable with yourself, you know, and and yeah, man, don't try to change and, you know, definitely don't try to act like you're white just so you can appeal to these women, you know what I mean? Don't feel that you have to change yourself and be either a thug or a gangster or preppy or whatever. Just do you, man. Do you. Do what makes you feel comfortable. If you're comfortable being Asian, and although that really doesn't make sense, like how can you... Asian. You know what I'm trying to say. If you're comfortable with yourself, then don't try to change that to make someone else feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? 
So you like the white girls, huh? Well, you know, white girls are, are proper, you know? There's a white girl right now over there. She's got a fat ass too, man. Damn. I've got to drive down here more often. I can see why you like the white girls, homie. I can see it. But, um... I would show you, but I don't want to like be on that creeper tip, yo. So now I'm not an expert on the subject, but uh, I just call it like I see it, man. So you know, take my advice for what it is, um, and good luck, man. But you know, I will say this: don't just close yourself off to the white chicks. You know, um, be open to other ethnicities, and you know expand your horizons man like that that's why like i don't just settle for one race man like i'm i'm a very open individual you know i'll i'll get with whoever suits my my like my needs you know what i mean regardless of race you know what i mean she could be green for all i care man well maybe not green but like you get the idea all right guys this is tactics of real talk gurus thank you for writing in thank you for watching and uh be sure to check out my main channel which is youtube.com slash tactics 87 you can now download our episodes on itunes the link will be in the sidebar or well it'll probably be below now because of youtube's uh new layout or whatever but uh yeah man uh thanks for writing in keep writing in keep sending your love peace